Welcome to Turkey. It was my very first time there and my first time in the Asian continent. The highlight of my flight was to see other aircrafts while in air. I'm here to inspire your next adventure. On my channel, you will find the best things to do in destinations around the world. Istanbul is located on the northwest of Turkey and is the largest city of the country. It's not the capital city of the country, but it is known as the country's economic, cultural and historical center. The city lies in between Europe and Asia. Try to stay at least three to five days in this fascinating city to be able to enjoy the many things to do. Buyuk Chekmeje has a unique coastal view and it's one of the most important resort centers in Istanbul. There are lots of cafes and restaurants at this seaside. This seaside is a place where you can get rid of busy work schedule and stress. West Istanbul Marina is the first and only residential marina project in Istanbul with the largest boat yard in the Mamara region and it's home to many businesses especially from the food sector as well as entertainment. West Istanbul Marina is located on the European side of Istanbul. Stop by at the Happy Months Cafe. It is located in the West Istanbul Marina. This cafe was established in 1999. They've got a professional team and they have different tastes from Turkish, Mexican and the likes. The obelisk was originally set up by the Thoth Moses theory of the 18th dynasty of Egypt at about 1450 BC. Inscribed on the obelisk is an Egyptian script. The script reads that it was in his father's honor that Thoth Moses erected an obelisk at the Karnak and a monument in Mesopotamia. Depictions of the pharaoh was also featured on it. Several obelisks were transported from Egypt to Rome. It was during the reign of Theodosius I that the obelisk was re-erected in its current place. The stone piece now stands 19.59 meters tall, which is shorter than and most probably only two-thirds of its original size. The Serpent Column is a bronze monument which survived to the present day from the Roman Hippodrome. It was built to commemorate the Greeks who fought and defeated the Persian Empire at the Battle of Plotio. Right next to the obelisk of Theodosius and the serpent column, you will find the world obelisk, which is a Roman monument. Hagia Sophia. This is one of the best places to visit in Istanbul. It is one of the most important and impressive buildings ever constructed. It was once the greatest church in Christendom. Then it was later converted into a mosque and then later on it was converted to a museum but in 2020 it reverted back to a mosque. Don't skip the Turkish breakfast, timid and chai. Guys this one is very interesting. Get driven by the ice cream vendors like it's so fun. <laughs> You should also try the kumpe, which is a typical Turkish food. 
It is a baked potato that is cut open and covered with a pile of delicious toppings of your own choice. Trust me, this meal is stomach filling and you really have to try it when you are in Turkey. One of the best ways to see the European and the Asian part of Turkey is to go on a boat tour. The boat tour allows you to see the famous Bosphorus Bridge, which is the bridge that connects the Asian part of Turkey to the European part of Turkey. This is quite amazing and you really have to do this. Taksim is a square located in the city of Istanbul. It is one of the biggest tourist attraction centers in Istanbul, with its surrounding restaurants, shops, hotels and entertainment. You may want to stop by at the Edinburgh pub to grab a bottle of drink. Midye is a popular and common street food snack in Turkey. I really liked it. It contains herbed and spiced rice. It's quite tasty. The Istanbul's Flower Passage. It was once a theater with stylish shops and flats. Starting from the 1940s, more and more pubs, restaurants, wine houses started opening their doors in this place, which gradually made the florists and residents of the flat move out. Only the name of the passage survived. You should also visit Firuze for barbecue with friends and family. If you want to get some Afro vibes, I recommend you go to the Fox Seaside. Mamara Park is one of Istanbul's most prominent shopping centers. Erkö is a traditional Turkish alcohol and Shalgam is a side drink that comes with it. Visit the Kube cafe and restaurant for the nice ambience and good food. I really enjoyed the meal. It was so delicious. So if you will be in Istanbul, I recommend you visit this restaurant. So I came to a conclusion that Turkish citizens love their flag a lot, like I was literally seeing flags everywhere even in the residential areas. Alright guys, that's it for my video on the best things to do in Istanbul. Which activity are you mostly excited to do yourself? Make sure you like this video if you found it helpful. Subscribe to this channel for more travel videos. Catch you on the next adventure.